Hello and welcome to 3D Paradise Tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we'll, I will show you how to model uh, these two gear, wheel, gear wheels and make uh, a copy of this and make it go in another axis and make that work. We will also set up a simple scene so we can get something that looks a little like this. So let's try this. We'll start art in Max with a simple box. Now we want the height to match the width. I'm looking at uh, one of these and I'm trying to match the proportions so it's looking like that on the photo just a bit so to round it off This would be 40, and then this would be 25, and then this would be 35. Then convert it into an edible poly. Great. Then go into polygon, uh, polygon mode. Um, in here we don't want we don't want uh, a polygon on that side into the middle so we'll delete this one and then we need uh, one po uh, polygon here that should be the hole and that we are going to do like this So now we got the uh, basics, um, then this would just be copied um, a lot of times this way and then we're going to bend it around uh, in the end. So let's add a little more um, definition to this so it looks a little better and matches the photo. Um, I like to press J so the um, so the um, cage around my model disappears so it's easier to see the lines when I press F4 you can see now that it's maybe a little annoying so J and F4 um, and then we want to make some more lines going around here so select the lines around here and press connect. We want two. We want two. Okay. Then we can go into the top. And here we're just going to select this one, this one. And we're going to do make this a little smaller. We are probably gonna make one more segment in here. One one uh, edge loop in here. Sorry. So we will move this and. We're just going to look at the photo again. Goes out and then goes in. So
something like this just to make it look cool because normally in the other tutorial we made we just did it with we just did it with a normal a normal star here and then we um, cranked up the points and that doesn't look very good so that's why we're doing this so now when we have the one of them and it's looking okay now you would just want a lot of them you uh, select this and you move it holding shift down and then when it comes to the end of the other you let go and how many do we want here we can check here how many there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, nah, yo, thir thirty, thirty-two. So thirty-one copies. Say okay. Uh, the reason it was thirty-one copies and not thirty-two was that we had one, and then we had thirty-one copies. So if we select all of them, if we select all of them there should be 32 objects selected great if we take one of them could be the front part we want we want all of them to be in the same model so we can uh, attach all of the others attach so now they're all in the same model as you can see here box one there are no other so select that one and go in the modifier list and add a bent modifier. We want to rotate uh, or bend it 30, um, 360 degrees. And of course, that's not the right angle. So let's say Y. That wasn't the right either. And this wasn't the right either. Let's try to save this. So this will be the, um, the changed one that could go in another axis. Just as a copy. Then the other we are going to fix. That was the wrong way. We'll just put a oops, negative sign here. Negative. negative 90 like that so now this is better great then we can look at this again okay so now we are just going to collapse it and we are going to take the um, we had a lot of objects and we attached them into one object but there are still different elements all of them are uh, different elements we want them to be the same element and we can do that by um, welding the vertices here you can see there should only be one but there's actually two vertices here so by, ver uh, by welding if you hold the control A down to select all of the vertices and then push weld, uh, press and weld, and then you just crank this up just a bit. Then it takes the ones that are uh, closest and uh, weld them together. So if you do like this, now they should all be one element, and they are. Now we want. Um, Yeah, we have one little problem over here where it's not close enough together so we are just gonna take these and weld them separately like that say okay 